of practice been for you and kind of the rest of the team? I mean, practice been going good for the rest of the team. I mean, now I'm getting back into everything. I'm getting used to like the offense, getting better at everything. So I feel like the team is coming together. So we've just been working hard at practice every day. How, how hurt were you last year? I know you battled that, I guess, foot and knee injury for the better part of the season. Yeah, I feel like I was I was hurt pretty most like most of the season. So like just I worked on like all season just working on my ankles, working on my knee, just trying to get everything stronger. Coming back into the season now, I feel better. Well, was there an eye opening moment for you, I guess last year of like essentially kinda of hold the crap on in the SEC playing college basketball? I mean, yeah, it was, it was definitely an eye opener. You know, it was a lot of like grown men that were strong. Yeah. So I knew then that I had to get way stronger for me to actually like get around and play. Was there a moment? For you, I guess going up against either a Mike uh, or a Chris or something. Like but that. it was definitely playing against Kentucky. Um, okay. I, I forgot Reed Travis. Yeah. Yeah, I remember he was he's strong. So like when I was playing him in the post, like he buried me every time. So I was like, oh yeah, it's definitely time to get stronger. Let's do the first week, couple days of practice. Is there any standouts offensively, defensively that you kind of noticed? Uh, like right now it's kind of like changing the offense. So like everybody's kind of like getting used to everything. So right now I feel like. McKay is um, definitely getting like used to everything. Then you got Wildens, big block shot blocking presence. Then you got Mike. Mike is definitely getting better than I'm like working on like scoring in the post, getting stronger. Who's the fastest player on the team? Yeah. I, I think seventh. Seventh. Just yeah, seventh. He's a little yeah. bit older. And yeah, he's faster. Um, player you hate, Garden? On the team? Yeah. Uh, definitely Mike. Mike, Mike. is strong too. Really? Yeah. What have you seen out of him? I guess does he seem I mean, I feel, yeah, I feel like he's comfortable now, so I think he's already used to the offense. So just learning off of him and then playing like he's been telling me what to do and stuff. Who's the best free throw shooter? Uh, Jair. Jair. Yeah. He's the best shooter overall. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. yeah. Not even Jermaine? Not going to stick up for your classmate on that one? I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I mean, if I seen Josh shoot in the gym, so he's definitely, I say he's the best shooter. Who's, um, in terms of, I guess, more surprising guy that to shoot threes, is there a guy that you look at and you're like, he's not a three point shooter, but can kind of hit it from the Keyshawn. Keyshawn? Yeah. So you gotten better at that? Yeah. He's, about that this he's definitely season. got better at his three point shoot. He's been working out it a lot this summertime, so he's definitely gonna be shooting it a lot now. When you got here last year, what was the hardest kind of part of your game to adapt, I guess, to that college level? Uh, biggest difference for me because I'm not like really explosive, yeah. so like I just had to learn how to use my body a lot instead of trying to like jump through people. Because in high school, I was able to like I'm stronger than everybody, so I was yeah. able to buy a, a lot of people in the post. But now everybody's stronger. I just had to learn how to use my footwork and how to use my body. Yes. We talked a little bit about your diet this summer. Just what kind of wholesale changes, or if wholesale changes, did you have to make to that? I mean, just basically like, cutting down on a lot of like bread and stuff. And just basically working hard, cause like on the summertime, I really wasn't here, like last summer. So coming in, I had a whole full summer and a full spring to get stronger and cutting down on my weight. What um, what did you have to give up? Uh, Any like big thing that you had to give up? Fast food? Any kind of snack food that you had to give up? I mean, up? I really didn't eat a lot of fast food like that. It's just just my portion size, just cutting changing my portion. Like yeah, bread and carbs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Just kind of take me through a typical day eating wise for you. What do you eat? What do you uh, eat? Well, because you know you got class and more, so I wake up early, yeah. go eat breakfast and more, so I have like eggs and spinach, mm -hmm. and then I have like water, and go back to um, class, come back, eat like a little snack, and we have weights. What's a little snack? Hold on, what's a little snack for you? Because a little snack for me and a little snack for you is probably... I mean, we just have like popcorn here and stuff, so like okay. we eat popcorn, go back to class, and we have weights. So I'll probably, I'll eat after weights, so like we have lunch, and I'll eat like maybe like chicken, salad, rice, and then... After that, we have dinner. It depends on what I eat. Probably most of the times, like Chipotle and all that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you obviously came in on the Final Four, right on the heels of that. Did they talk about that at all in recruiting with you? Was that part of their pitch? I mean, yeah, because like, I talked to Chris Silva a lot in high school, so I kind of watched him throughout his college experience. So just basically talking to him too, he said he really he loved it here, and he said the Final Four is like a really good time for him.